What's going on, guys? Andrew here. Welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot and new things going on within the coastal community. I know it has been a minute. Today, I'm recording this on June 18th, 2024. Yeah, your boy went on a little trip in my favorite rocket ship going to the stars, Little Einsteins. You feel me? No, for real, guys. I went on a trip to Texas. You'll be seeing that vlog later today. But I wanted to get this update out to you all first, mainly because they're going to be having track arriving literally today, actually. Shout out to my sources. They actually let me know that uh, track was supposed to be arriving this week. So, I mean, I imagine the track and more supports are going to be arriving, honestly, this whole month. I'm assuming the announcement is going to be in August, probably near the end of August. They usually do it on National Roller Coaster Day or a little bit further after that. As far as the rename for uh, Intimidator, P305, whatever, uh, we don't know when that is going to be yet, but we do know that a retheme is going to be coming for that ride. So just expect that to be happening too. I think Backlot is also supposed to be getting a retheme. I'm not 100% on that though, but from what I've heard is that Backlot also might be getting a retheme which does make sense because there's really no reason for it to be called backlot anymore. It really doesn't even fit that area, to be honest. They could make that ride honestly like a really great jungle exploration, like, like some fake animals. Um, it'd be really cool, honestly. I think it would be a great fit for that area, to be honest. But you all want to see what is going on. I'm actually going to let you all see this clip first of the track. I filmed this after I did the update inside the park, but I'm going to let you all watch that first, and then we're going to go ahead and talk about what's going on inside the park. All right, guys. So I know it's been a minute. Your boy was in Texas. That's right, I was in Texas. Six Flags Siesta Texas and SeaWorld San Antonio. But we're back at it with another review, or really an update, not a review, an update. I went inside the park already. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of track here now. It's pretty much confirmed that it is a launch wing. Um, we ain't doing no family coaster over here. I'm very, very excited. Uh, there has been a lot of track actually. If you look at this side over here, they've gotten a lot more. Um, the only thing, it's about 7 o'clock now, so people are probably about to leave. But yeah, this is what it kind of looks like over here. So yeah. Now, there's some car over there was uh, doing whatever they're doing. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much, it still looks a little the same. Not much track came, but I do know more supports arrived. And I think like, uh, as you can see over here, there's more launch track over here. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. The inside of the park does have, a, they did a lot more work though. They've added a lot more theming inside uh, Jungle Expedition now. Uh, it does look really good, so yeah. But yeah, this is the new track. This piece is huge right here. So both of these are actually pretty huge. I think these are gonna be for the brake run and part of it is going to be the launch itself. This actually looks like the launch piece right here. But it may be the brake run. I don't know yet. I, I don't know wing coasters fully like that. Uh, I've only ridden Gatekeeper at Cedar Point. So, yeah. That's what we got right now, though. If I go down a little bit further, you'll see this thing, it goes far back now. Like, they've gotten a lot of track. It is crazy to see how much track they've gotten. Like, I'm all the way down here now. Like, look how far I am. This is insane. Here's a really good piece right here. That looks super dope. You can see like the hydraulics right there. Very, very cool. Man, this is gonna be freaking awesome. I cannot wait. Yeah, this piece right here is massive. Oh my gosh. Wow. And that that's also a curved piece right there. That's another curved piece, so. I imagine we will start seeing maybe the lift stuff later on uh, within the months coming and um, some more supports, obviously. I don't know when they're going to actually start going vertical, though. Uh, I haven't got any information about that just yet, but I do know more track is still on the way. There should be actually more coming this week, in fact. So, yeah. All right. So you saw the pieces of track. Honestly, I really don't understand how a lot of you all keep saying this is a B&M surf coaster because that was never really the plan for KD. If they switch plans like that, that would be pretty weird. And honestly, it really wouldn't even match up with all the sources that we've been seeing and the plans and everything. Again, this wing coaster was gonna be originally like a chain lift wing coaster in like 2020 or 2021. That ended up not happening because obviously the pandemic happened and 
we got some updates and boom, launch wing. So as you saw from those pieces of track, those things were huge. It looks beautiful in person though. I gotta say the green actually looks very good during sunset, looks really dope. It is pretty much the same color as Tumbili, unfortunately. Uh, I do think they honestly could have went with like honestly the same colors as Volcano or even they even could have did like a blue switch that one to red maybe they, there was plenty of colors on the color spectrum that they could have went with. Um, I really don't understand why we need two green rides right beside each other. Another thing I keep hearing is that the supports are a different color than gray. I can understand why people think that during different parts of the day it does come off as a greenish color. Somebody else shout out to Justin. He said it looks brown and I was like, bro, I think you're colorblind because it's definitely a gray support. Um, they are definitely gray. You will see it once they go vertical. It is a gray support. Now, as for what's going on inside the park, I actually did a little walk around the entire area again. I didn't get to ride Reptilian. I actually forgot to ride it to see the aerial view, but I kind of just did a little quick walkthrough of Jungle Expedition just to honestly check out the theming and they are definitely adding a lot of teasing and theming inside the area. It's starting to look really good. I cannot wait to see what it looks like. They do have copyrighted music in that area. So unfortunately I cannot let you all hear it. Maybe I might make a like non-monetized version, uh, non-monetized video so you all can actually hear the theme music. But the area sounds really good. It actually feels like you're in the jungle. It's really dope. Like I told you all in previous videos, you can see the bamboo lights. They look very good. The theming is incredible in this area, honestly. It, it looks so good. They even added a little ATV. Once you walk through those two columns, you can pretty much see how many footers uh, have been basically poured and they're pretty much covered up with they're covered up in wood to just protect them from the elements and personally I think they look really good I think just the fresh wood looks actually really cool I honestly hope they actually keep that wooden box look I think it kind of fits the area it's really cool they did push back the fence as you can see but they also added some teasing uncovering something big they also added a couple other things another one says propelling your next adventure they all say unleashing 2025 exciting excavation uh, in progress and then jungle expansion for the jungle's greatest thrills was the last one I'm pretty sure it's going to be something along the lines of a bird theme which it does technically fit that area something like a pterodactyl would be pretty dope to be honest now at the time that I was recording this video uh, it was probably about 6 30 so they were done for the day they, I imagine they get off between four and five o'clock uh, I don't think they work any later than that they don't really need to because they start really early in the morning they've also pulled up a nice amount of pavers but the footer is finally finished so they finally have that one settled now this time I did take my time filming because I had more time and also it was just a more lax day at the park I didn't feel like I needed to rush or anything I also saw a giant hole I don't know what this is supposed to be for if it's for a footer, they even have fencing around this one, but the hole was massive. Uh, under that, it looks like there was like some more footers, old footers though. Now towards the flight of fear side of things, I do see a lot of rebar in that area that tells me that footers are pretty much ready to be poured at this point. And um, like I said, they should be bringing in the supports really soon here. This clip is from the side of Arakadia. I think I said that name right. It's a definitely wild name, but I like this shot right here because I was able to kind of just get a clear glimpse of the actual station. Apparently they are going to be using that station, which I'm kind of glad about. It's nice to see they're going to put that nostalgic look on the uh, area. This is actually where the trench was on this side that's fenced off. As you can see, there's another footer over there. I haven't looked at the blueprint in a minute, so I can't remember what this area is supposed to be. But I do know that they are leveling this area out. And honestly, they've been working on this part. Uh, for a while now. It still blows my mind how much this area takes up because you'll walk around all the way to Flight of Fear and then you'll walk back to Tumbili and that's a nice little walk honestly that's a pretty decent walk. I honestly hope the queue line goes uh, in between the coaster. I think that would be really cool to have like the coaster just flying over your head. It'd be really dope. This side was right by the icy machine. They actually had some fencing kind of rebarred or like as you can see there is a speaker right there. So this area is probably going to be for public use once they uh, get this all leveled out and done. This is the other side just to give you a different angle. But again that's where the footer is. And again the power uh a lot of the high voltage points are also in this area. Here's a zoomed in view of uh, that middle shot of like the whole entire area where you just get that wide view. 
They had some gravel piled up there. They also have some pallets. Uh, I think that's also extra fencing. So they can probably change, add, or subtract fencing if they need to. These footers right here, I don't think they're going to cover these footers up. I think they're going to actually leave these open. That pretty much sums up the update. Uh, I'm glad to see the progress that's going on. I definitely will try to get back down there to check out the track. Just want to shout out the uh, older gentleman that I met at Kings of Man 2. He had a Millennium Force shirt on. He literally was in a, a scooter, but he was super dope. Uh, he actually got to ride top through two before everything unfolded with that ride. He did say it was a great experience. And uh, I'm definitely jealous that he got the ride top thrill too. But hopefully they get it running soon. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Till next time, peace out.